Here we are, Hotel de Brett. This is exciting. I've always walked past here and wondered what's inside. It all looks pretty flash. It's in a very beautiful area. It's all swanky, swanky people. So I'm gonna take me, myself, and my skinny jeans inside and check it all out. Stairs, told there's food. Wow, this is definitely unexpected for your regular inner city hotel. Lovely and bright. I don't want to impede on anyone's easy experience. Might try and find the bar. Oh, they gave me the keys to open the bar and didn't have anyone in here working. Pretty big step, actually, trusting a musician with a bar. It's those days are behind me. Apparently. No, I've got to leave. <laughs> De Brett's also contains definitely one of the coolest restaurants I've seen. This place is full of all these tiny, detailed elements that seem really hand-picked. I'm pretty sure they are hand-picked. And it's all inside this atrium, which is a really busy place, but when you're there, you don't feel that at all. It feels really quite serene. This is part of an award-winning hotel and the restaurant. They've won a whole bunch of awards. Uh, so now I thought I'd find out what it's all about, stop snooping around, and I'm going to talk to the boss and co-owner of De Brett's, Michelle Derry. Michelle, I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for having me. I've had a bit of an explore around the place. And one thing I really love about the Brits so far is that the elements that make up the hotel don't feel like that, that sort of chain hotel. It's all the bars, the restaurants, the rooms. Everything is quite homely and quite easy to appreciate and not too branded. And Yeah, I think the idea when we were sort of restructuring it was to make it feel more like a home. So you're coming to San Someone's home, but also that the bar and the restaurant, we've only got 25 rooms, so they need to be able to stand alone and work as independent businesses, really. So most of our clientele in the restaurant is actually from outside on the street. Um, we really work at maintaining standards so that we keep the clientele, we keep the awards up. Mm. It helps. Now, I walked into the house bar, amazingly detailed, beautiful, vibey room, but it seems like it's got a lot of history, am I right? It's got a huge amount of history. I think if the walls could talk, we'd, um, we'd have some fantastic stories to tell. We, we have people coming in all the time and telling us stories about, you know, right back to the 50s, really. It's, um, Absolutely, that's, that's really cool. It's been there, it's been iconic in Auckland for a long time. You'd be fine, me, coming, having some late night drinks with a band, getting oh, a bit rowdy. Might, yeah, have you seen the size of the, bit, size of the bar? I've got a you might small not band. fit the bandit, okay. You and your guitar sounds great. There might be a few girls. But... <laughs> the followers. You'll let us in. <laughs> That's good. De Brett's is located inside one of Auckland's most iconic buildings, and it comes across in this cool old Hollywood style. It really is a haven amongst the hustle and bustle of High Street. And you know what? I really do love a good bathroom. got the, the rain shower and the massage paddle and adjust settings. I love showers. The most exciting thing about hotels often is the bathroom and this is actually a really exciting bathroom. It's got a, a ladder with towels on it, satin robe, personalised creams and, and really good stuff. Really cool tissue box. You've got those things you can put in your ears and clean them out. It's all really nice. This is definitely an exciting bathroom. Because I, do people spend more time in bathrooms and hotel rooms than the, than the rooms? Because I do. I love them. You've got a red light up there if you want to get disco in here.
Right, you can have your own little balcony here. So if you're like me and you wake up in the morning and you wonder where the hell your rest of your group is, you can sort of look down and go, oh, look, they're at breakfast. Look, there's sausages and eggs ready. Some fresh bread and a, some toast all ready to go. Have a coffee here and then make your way down. It's nice, I'm taking a bit of the sun. Oh, is it a cloudy day? Is it a sunny day? It's a practical balcony. Now, before I make everyone all good, go back in there. <laughs> 